Hey there guys, it's Amit and welcome back to DevDreamer. So in this lesson then, we're taking a look at CSS margin. In the last lesson, we looked at CSS padding and we saw that padding relates to the space inside of our element. So it was the space from the edge of our element to the outside. Margin relates to the space outside of our element. So padding inside, margin outside, or P-I-M-O, PIMO. Now PIMO means absolutely nothing, but back when I was learning CSS, this really helped me to remember the difference between padding and margin. Padding was inside, margin is outside. Padding inside, margin outside. So might be useful to you as well. So let's then take a look at an example of margin. Let's go to our start CSS file. I'm just using that same paragraph element from the previous video. This is a background color of red. And before we look at some margin examples, those of you with a keen eye would probably have seen that actually this already has some spacing applied to it. So if you zoom in, we can see that, yeah, there is a, there's some spacing here at the top and there's a, some spacing on the left here. Well, what's happening there? Well, if you've been going through our CSS playlist, you would know that by default, the browser applies some styling to certain elements. And that's what's happening here. So let's actually remove that. So uh, in fact, let me show you very quickly. If we do right click, inspect, I'm in Google Chrome. This brings up the Google Chrome developer tools. And we can see here, yep, yeah, it does have some, some margin going all around, eight pixels all the way around. And there's also some margin on this paragraph element as well. As you can see, this here is being applied to the body. Body margin eight pixels. So what we're gonna do is, let's be very specific here. Let's do, let's get rid of that. All right, let's do body margin zero pixels. And as you can see, that's moved that there across. So that's now flush against the side. And here with paragraph, we're also gonna say margin, because we've still got this space up here, margin zero pixels. And now you can see that it's right up in the corner there and there's no spacing around this element. Okay, let's just zoom out. So now then let's actually apply some margin styling to this element. So let's just take this here. So we're gonna say margin and let's say 20 pixels all the way around. Okay, so we now have a 20 pixel margin at the top, bottom, left and right. And as I said, just like padding, we can specify specific values for top, bottom, left, and right. So here we can say margin hyphen top is going to be, let's say 50 pixels. Okay, let's move it down there because it's given us a 50 pixel margin from the top. Let's say margin right is going to be, let's just say 20 pixels. Margin bottom will be 10 pixels and margin left will be, let's see something bigger here, let's go 250 pixels. Okay, and as you can see, those margin styles have been applied to our element. And let's take a look at the other ways we can specify margin, so let's just comment these out. Okay, and let's say we can specify two values by just doing margin, and the first value, again, exactly the same as it was for padding, the first value specifies top and bottom, so let's just say we want 30 pixels, top and bottom. The second value specifies left and right. So let's say we want a margin of left and right of, well, let's just say 50 pixels. Okay guys, so there you have it, nice and simple. Just remember, padding inside, margin outside. So if we were to add some padding here, let's just do five pixels. You can see what that's done is, it hasn't increased the space outside of our element, but the spacing inside of our element. Padding inside, margin outside. Now, although we know this now, when do we use padding? And when do we use margin? It's all good and well showing you that padding is inside and margin is outside, but do we really understand the difference between the two? When should we use margin bottom as opposed to padding bottom? Well, we're gonna take a look at that in the next lesson. So as always guys, if you found this useful, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.